Hi, this is Nalin, and you are watching Nalin Jana 3D tutorials. Have you ever thought about to model a lychee in Maya? The other day, I got a request from from one of my student, Mama, and she had requested to do this. So here it is. So you are going to learn some new tools and techniques. So stay tuned to the end, and I'm going to start this. So let's jump into it and let's do it. So here I am inside Maya. So I'm going to take a spear. As a base and I'm going to scale it in Y direction to get an oval shape now I'm going to save this selection this edge selection I want to save this selection so that I can again select these edges easily so I'm going to this edge more select every edges go to create menu and go to sets here go to quick select set click on it and choose any name here or you can just leave as the default name so here i'm putting age okay so that selection is safe okay i can go anytime and select these edges so now i'm going to select you know every faces and i'm going to poke them so let's go to edit mesh and apply poke so when you poke faces those faces are going to divide it like this cross cross lines and these faces are every faces are crossed and if you can see I got a loop okay I got a crisscross loop now I want to select those old edges so I can find those saved edges from here select and go to quick select sets and you can find your saved selection here okay you will save from create sets quick select and you'll find that selection from here quick select sets edge so when i click edge it's gonna select all those old edges now i want to delete these edges so let's go to edit mesh and delete edge delete edge and vertex now you can see i actually alter those edge loops initially my spear had no up down loops now the loops are like going in a twisted manner okay let's check the image here you can see these are random edges or random you can see they're not like same size you can see there is a big one close to a small one so those are very random shaped now here i have evenly spaced i'm going to randomize it so i can do that by one way Either I have to do it manually by moving vertices, that's tedious. So I'm going to show you a new technique, new ways to do it. So let's use a deformer called texture deformer. So go to deform menu here. I am inside modeling menu here. So go to deform menu and go to texture here. Okay, click on that. Now let's open the attribute editor. So click on this third option and go to this attribute editor make sure your texture deform mode is selected and now let's go to this texture here so click on this texture checker icon input box and now i can put any texture and i can modify the model so i'm going to use fractal here so let's click on fractal you can see as soon as i chose that it changes my model shape now this texture is driving this model vertices so now I'm going to go back to again texture reformer. Let's go to outliner so that I can easily select that. So go to outliner, select your texture deformer from here. And let's go to texture deformer again. So I came back here. Now I'm going to decrease this strength here. You can see the strength is too much. I don't want this much. So decrease it. As you can see that texture is driving this shape. So I want some kind of no randomized shape like this something like this now if you select this model you can see i have some big faces and a close to small one so i randomize that now i'm going to extrude these faces to get those spikes so let's select every face so yeah i forgot to delete the history so make sure you delete the history select the model go to edit and delete by type history to get rid of that deformer i don't want that anymore select every faces and i'm going to extrude let's go to edit mesh and extrude click on extrude now i'm going to 
turn off this key faces together because I want to extrude every faces individually so let's turn off this by just clicking here it will turn off and now I'm going to move this in this Z axis so make sure you are grabbing this blue arrow outside just grab it and I'm going to scale tool just click on any of the scale box these boxes click once and go to center and scale from the center so basically I extruded every faces and you can move again it's up to you how much you want that you no know, extrusion so let's extrude a little bit there like this and now let's press 3 on the keyboard I have got that you no know, surface detail but it's it's kind of you know it has those you no know, cracks or the base lines are very defined here we don't have that the base lines are smooth so I'm going to do one thing I'm going to add some divisions so let's go to edit mesh and click on this add divisions okay so let's turn off this grid let's go to display and turn off the grid okay now you can see I have added some divisions but it didn't smooth the model so I didn't smooth it I added divisions now if I press 3 let's press yes now some of the shapes are clearly defined shape now I, I want to randomize the overall shape so I can again use the texture deformer let's go to texture deformer and use it again this time to overall modify the shape so let's go to texture deformer and go to attribute editor and this time I'm going to use click on this 3d texture here then choose maybe brownian and now if you move this you can see when I move this 3d texture node it's like modifying that shape and I'm getting a random random look so now I got that let's delete history to get rid of the deformer and you can delete the texture as well by manually you know from your keyboard now I change the shape overall shape a little bit you can see let's press 3 so I got this then you can you can say these are very triangle looking or diamond shape but if you check this image it has some round shapes as well it has some round shapes and somewhere it's like diamond shape and it's very randomized we can do that by let's go to this sculpting menu and choose this uh, move brush let's hold B and drag so this is like now I am inside ZBrush so I'm modifying the shape a little bit and I'm trying to you know randomize you need to spend a little bit time if you want to make it perfect in this stage just randomize somewhere I'm not going to do that so now I'm going to smooth it so let's go to mesh and smooth so now I'm actually adding divisions with uh, at the same time I'm smoothing it so so I don't have to press 3 again so this is my you no know, lychee here now I'm going to smooth this area a little bit as you can see it's very crisscrossing intersecting so I'm going to use again the smooth brush here here I'm inside sculpting brush so let's choose this second brush and press shift while you drag your left mouse and you can see I'm smoothing these vertices here so it's like kind of you no know, sculpting inside Maya it's kind of zebras sculpting if you do it 100% perfect you need to you know, spend time in these areas in sculpting things you can sculpt a little bit you know, here and there to get some variation and you can sculpt like this here and there it's too you know, evenly designed right now but uh, yeah then I'm going to do the this little branch here so let's do that I'm going to take a polygon cylinder for that so let's take a polygon cylinder and I'm going to scale it so let's make the basic proportion here and I'm going to add some divisions let's go back to channel box go to the inputs add some divisions in the height make sure you got some good looking square polygons and then I'm going to add some in the caps as well so let's add some caps okay like this uh, maybe a little bit thinner a little bit wider 
then I'm going to again use that texture deformer to add some you no know, variation so let's go to deform and texture deformer you can see I'm using a lot that tool here to you know randomize things to add noise so let's go to the attribute editor and let's add the fractal again and let's go back to the texture deformer and decrease the decrease the strength here here you can see it's only like giving that noise to the top of the cylinder but I'm not getting noise in the side it's because that that deformer is like the texture is pulling up and down that's the reason because you can see it's actually pulling these vertices but I cannot see any shape changes so in this case I'm going to rotate this model a little bit as I rotate this model you can see now it's pulling up down so I see some shapes there then I'm going to I like this shape let's say let's rotate a little bit and let's say I like this shape now I'm going to delete the history delete the history so now that deformer is gone now again I can rotate it back and if I press 3 you can see I got some shape good looking you no know, good kind of shape now I can I can go to smooth and let's smooth it smooth this model then I can use lattice let's go to deform menu again choose lattice this time let's select the lattice and right click outside go to lattice point you can modify the shape easily overall you can modify the shape as you can see if I you know I can rotate it I can then again select this and let's go to delete by type and history so here you can see we did it very tricky model and if you you know, spend a little bit more time you can do it better than me the main takeaways from these tutorials are saving component selection using quick select set poking faces to alter the loop direction using texture deformer to add noise to the model and using lattice to change the proportion so these are the takeaways from these tutorials hope this tutorial is valuable for you if it's so and you have not subscribed yet please subscribe my channel so that you can see my future upcoming videos upcoming tutorials i also teach on udemy and i have some great courses there the course links are in the descriptions you can check those out so this is nalin you were watching nalin jona 3d tutorials i will see you in a new video till then take care and bye